They've set really well. Now, I'm going to just rub that in a bit of olive oil, OK? Because we want to basically get a nice hot non-stick pan and just get a nice bit of colour all the way round. Now, that's the noise you want to hear. That's perfect, OK? Because we're not looking to cook it all the way through. We just want to get a nice bit of colour on it. Once that chicken's golden brown, pop it in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 or gas mark four. Whilst that's cooking, I'm getting on with my next dish. Right, next up on the agenda, um, I've chose some fennel, OK? Nice braised fennel with a bit of saffron uh, and tarragon, OK? Fennel seeds. I'm going to chuck a bit of perno in there as well, because the flavours work fantastic. So we've got sort of three different aniseed flavours going on. A little bit of lemon, just to sort of balance it out, and then a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of garlic there, just for a bit of background flavour, and then we've got a nice bit of butter, just to make it nice and caramelised. Take your tops off, just cut it straight in half. So you don't want all that root, but you still want to keep it together. You don't eat the outside of this, because it's quite tough, OK? But you can actually use it in stocks. If you're doing a fish stock, they're really good, because fennel and fish goes really well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it into three, and then you end up with this nice little bit of root veg there, OK? Now, what you want to do, get a nice big old pot, and it's on about a medium heat, OK? And all, all I want to do is just colour the fennel. So you need to keep an eye on it as well, because it will colour really quickly. I'll just crush a clove of garlic, keep the skin and everything gone. I just want a background flavour. Right, lemon. Lemon, again, very Italian. A nice little bit of colour, just on the outside there. Just tanned it a bit, yeah? That's, that's fair enough, that's enough for me. So I'm going to go in with my perno. Now, I'm going to go in with a little bit of saffron. OK, it's quite expensive, this gear, so don't get too carried away. And it's quite powerful as well. And you'll start getting this lovely, bright colour. Look at that, it's already going a nice yellow colour. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of fennel seeds, and I'll pop them into a little pepper grinder, right? And it's a good little tip, because if, if you haven't got a little pestle and water, OK, or you don't want to make a big banging noise in the house, it comes out really nice, evenly. And then I'm going to put some tarragon stalks in there. Now, a little knob of butter. So now all the liquids evaporated from here. So now I'm going to put my water in. The butter's melting now, so when that water hits it, it's going to just really be a nice sort of uh, an agent for, for braising. You're covering it by half, basically, so you still got you can still see a bit of the fennel. Pop that on a medium heat, 10 minutes, done. With a party kicking off over the road, I'm getting that tasty chicken out the oven. This has been in here for about half an hour now, right? 180. Lovely. That would be fantastic, just like that. You know, a couple of roast carrots, roast potatoes on a Sunday. Fantastic, beautiful. But I'm going to roll it up and put it in the fridge and it go cold. So pop it on there. It's quite hot, just use a tea towel. And just squeeze it up so it will actually set. Cut it off, roll it up like that. Little sausage shape there, so when you do cut it, you've got a nice consistency. Okay? Lovely.